Kylie Jenner has just come public with a very shocking revelation. The mother of two has dropped a bombshell on her mother, Kris Jenner, exposing her for having pushed her towards a relationship with Taiga before she was legally an adult without a care in the world how hesitant and uncomfortable she was getting in a relationship at that age. And as if that wasn't enough, she was being forced to get engaged with a man who was seven years older than her. Apparently, according to insiders close to the family, when she looks back, Kylie Jenner realizes how bad she had it with being forced into that relationship at that age and that she's been struggling with deep-seated trauma and emotional scars that comes from being exploited by her mother, the person who she's supposed to trust to protect her, and because of that, she feels manipulated and used. Anyways, let's go a little back in time of when this relationship happened and get into the why Kris Jenner exploited Kylie Jenner like that. So when the allegations of the two dating started swirling in the fall of 2014, Kris Jenner quickly shut him down, saying that her daughter wasn't dating anyone. However, it didn't take long for Tiger himself to come out in a song to confirm, justify and glorify his illegal relationship with an underage girl who obviously was thought to be Kylie Jenner. The eyebrow raising song is called Stimulated. Tiger released it in just 2015 with controversial lyrics They say she young, I should have waited, she a big girl, she stimulated. This song immediately proved that Kris Jenner indeed gave out her daughter Kylie Jenner when she was still a minor. Anyways, the rumors of the two dating started in 2014 when Kylie Jenner was 17 and the song was dropped the following year when she was then a legal adult, which was even when the sources finally came out to say that Kris Jenner supports their relationship. Sources said that Kris Jenner thought the song was a little much. There's not much she could say since Kylie is an adult now. Chris actually supports their relationship big time. She thinks he is the next hip-hop genius of our generation and wants to do anything she can to help him succeed. This clearly makes it sound like she couldn't wait for her daughter to turn 18 to be able to pimp her publicly and what this insider said immediately shows what Chris Jenner was targeting here. Basically, she believed that Tiger was going to be the next big thing in the hip-hop industry and she wanted her daughter to be right next to him so that it could be a way to secure her future because really, she knew that her daughters have no other talents and she wanted her to be right next to someone big. While that wouldn't be the worst thing to do, what made it worse is the fact that she couldn't even wait for her daughter to turn a mature age to sell her out, but decided to pimp her out there and then. However, that's not all, because she was also targeting the amount of attention and publicity their relationship would generate, because at the end of the day, it would always give their show attention as well. A lot of people think that Kris Jenner encouraged Kylie Jenner to put more efforts in her King Kylie era so that all the attention from that could overshadow the fact that she is in a relationship with such a terrible age difference. So if you're not well versed with this, between 2015 and 2016, Kylie Jenner experienced what was dubbed her King Kylie era where she would constantly change her styles and colors and embrace different fashion choices and it is believed that this was a strategy by her mother to cover up the fact that she was being groomed by Taiga and being pimped by her mother. Apart from the disgusting lyrics and the reality of a mother giving their daughter out like that, the whole family was in support of that relationship because they knew it would benefit them and one of them who has been vocal about it is Khloe Kardashian who in one interview made some comments that sparked a lot of backlash. While talking about her sister's relationship with Taiga while she's underage, Khloe Kardashian said that I think at 16, I was probably effing someone that was in their 20s for sure. I wouldn't say I was even dating, probably just sleeping with them. 
But again, Kylie is not a normal 17 year old. She added that you're not gonna say, hey, so what are you doing this weekend? And have her say, having a slumber party at my girlfriend's or going to prom. That's not what Kylie does. Kylie is taking business meetings and bought her first house or she's going on a private plane with Carl Lagerfeld to take a meeting. That's not even what people do in their 30s. It's a rare circumstance, so let's treat this as a special case. This interview sparked mixed reactions with people talking about how the Kardashians don't care about anything else but making money and attracting attention no matter the price that has to be paid. However, much blame went to their mother because even Chloe was talking about what she must have been taught by her mother. One Kardashian's fan said that Kylie Jenner's life makes me sad. Poor girl never had a chance to be anything else thanks to the people around her. I know she's rich and privileged and all that, but the way her mother failed her is awful. Another one said that there is one episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians when Kylie and Kendall are like 11 and 12 and there is a stripper pole in the family house and the two of them are goofing off, playing with it, giggling, mimicking their sisters and pole dances and whatever. Preteens exploring the world, but their mother sanctioned that behavior and laid it air on international television. This should be private moments when children are play acting what they imagine womanhood to be. Any 12 year old would be more to have that footage surface later. It made me so sad because I realized that neither really had a chance to escape being sexualized even as children. And the last one said that Chris was pimped out by her mother MJ, then did the same to her daughters, especially Kim and Kylie. It is just a sad cycle in that family. Chloe also lived with grown men as a teenager, and Kim married a grown man as a teenager. Chris was also a teen, I think, when she met Robert Kardashian, who was much older. They don't see it as wrong because it's happened to them too. Anyways, apart from that, Kylie Jenner's relationship with Tiger's backlash didn't end there because when they got together, he was dating Black China, who would later say that Kylie Jenner was the reason that their relationship ended. She said that I feel like it ran its course and then he started talking to Kylie Jenner at the time, which I think she was like 16 year old or something. And we were like engaged and stuff, so that was kind of like what ended it. She added that it was actually when Tiger's friend threw me outside of his house. Yeah, they packed my stuff and put it in my, well, his truck at the time, packed it right upon and packed in the G-Wagon that he had given me at the moment. So it is clear that Kris Jenner damaged a lot of things, including her daughter and breaking Black China's relationship with forcing her daughter to Taiga, and now it is still haunting her daughter. But you have to remember that when it comes to pimping her daughters, she is the master of it because she is the one who also produced Kim Kardashian's sex tape, so Kylie Jenner is definitely not the only victim team here. Anyways fam, thank you for watching. Tell me what you think about Kris Jenner selling her daughters out to men and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep updated.